Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Learn in a Nutshell. So in today's video, let's see how to make use of Key Vault, uh, the different ways of using Key Vault in a function app. So without wasting any time, let's get in the video. So here I've not created any function app. Let's quickly create one function app here. I'll just give some name. So and some dummy numbers to make it unique it has to be unique and select node.js keep everything else has is click on review plus create and click on create so the function app will be created meanwhile what we'll do is let's go to key vault And let's create one key vault. Key vault will be created immediately. It doesn't take much time. So give some name, unique name. And let's keep everything else as is. Click on review plus create. and click on create so the function app is created it's getting deployed meanwhile what we'll do is let's go to the uh, let's create one function here and make some changes in that let's make a http trigger function Let's keep all the name has is click on create. This will create the function app. And let's go to code plus test and uh, read a variable from our configuration, which will be connected to key vault or to make it easy what we'll do is let's see what is configuration let's go to function app so this is where we'll have to set all our configurations or environment variables so there's that place so right now what we'll do is let's give create one value let's give the name as env demo and let's give the name as learn in a nutshell click on ok click on save so it's still saving so it's updated now let's go to overview let's go to our function Click on code plus test. So we have to create secrets in Key Vault. We'll do that once. I'll, I'll show you all how the you know value is getting uh, getting it from configurations. So let me show without anything how the output will be and later on we'll call the configuration what we just added. So we'll keep it in file system logs. It will print out all the context log as well. Click on run. So if you see here, this is getting printed. Let's duplicate this one. And uh, add some statement reading from config and let's give the value name we have named it as env and demo i believe let's click on save now let's save the value 
learn in nutshell comes or not so if you see here the value learn in nutshell is coming below so the learn in nutshell value is coming up here now what we'll do is let's take this value and uh, put it in a secret and read it from there how to do that we'll have to go to key vault create one key vault we have already created click on secret it will say like you're not authorized let's give uh, myself the access so to give the access so to give the access so uh, we'll have to click on add add a role assignment let's give full administrator administrator access and click on next let me give to myself user and select this email click on select click on review plus design so the role is added let's go to secret now that access issue is gone click on generate let's give the name has env demo and paste the value here learn in a nutshell i've pasted it here click on create and then what you have to do is let's go here go to a configuration So we have created this env demo. Let's remove this learn in a nutshell and call it from key vault. So we'll have to give Microsoft dot key vault and then give the vault name or vault name. So I've given the name has KV demo one two three two put a semicolon give the secret name the name which I have given for the secret so I've given it has ENV demo I believe let's quickly check yeah it's env demo i hope this would suffice key vault and uh, vault name you have to give secret name you'll have to give let's click on ok let's click on save you will see the status in source whether it is successfully reading it from key vault or not once this is once this is saved successfully let's refresh and see what is the status so it says key vault reference uh, there's a cross mark here and now if you run this it will just read that uh, whatever call we are doing has it is without any error so something like this If you click on run, so it's reading the value whatever we have given there has it is. So no error is being thrown as well. So for that, you have to give the access. You'll have to give uh, this function of access in this key vault. You'll have to go to access control. Again, click on add. Click on add role assignment. Here you'll have to give, we can give secret user as the role. And here you'll have to select managed identity and here the function app should have come up but it's not coming because you have not you know authorized uh, the permission to uh, show up this function app in key vault for that you'll have to go to a function app on the left hand side you'll find something called as identity just turn on this system assigned identity 
and click on save so it saved successfully let's see so we'll have to refresh it so let's go to key vault again let's go here click on access control so let's try this again and see if uh, we are able to see the function app now or not let's quickly see if it is saved so it is saved successfully let's click on add add role assignment click on keyword secret user click on managed identity click on select member so if you see here the function app is coming up now select this function app and click on select click on review plus assign and click on uh, it should be added and uh, now let's see if this gets resolved or not let's go to configuration it takes some time to resolve this let's see if it is quick or not So it's not at a resolved yet. So you can click on this and see if there is any other error. Access to key vault denied is what it says, but it should be resolved in some time. Let's check again in another two, three minutes. It should be resolved. Or you can either try stopping and you know starting it again. That will also hopefully work. without starting let's see if it has resolved or not so it has resolved i have not started or stopped the function app so it has resolved now you can see a tick mark green tick mark now if you go to the function app and click on code plus test It's a little slow to open up this code plus test sometimes. Let's put it to file system logs. Click on OK. Now click on test plus run and click on run. It will not come up. Let's do it again. So you see the value is coming up now. Learn in a nutshell. So that's how you read it from Key Vault now let's try to add one more version for this particular uh, you know, the secret which we have which we have added so suppose if you want to change the value anytime in future so let's give it as learn in a nutshell 2 I'll just type it here or let's just create it and see what's the value so this is a new version if you go here and click on show you can see two coming up here well, uh, just to be sure you can disable this as well the problem when we add a new version is um, it's not immediate it takes some time to resolve this new version in function app not sure why this is happening if this is some kind of a bug or it was uh, this is how it was supposed to work i'm not sure about it but when you go to code plus test click on file system logs so i'm reading this env demo let's click on test and run now if you see the value which we added the newly added value is not coming up here there should be one with the number two coming up here but it's not coming so it takes some time to reflect that changes here that's what i believe but if you want the value to be reflected immediately then the other way to do that is uh, you'll have to go to your current version copy this secret identifier url which they have provided 
and go to your uh, configuration in functional and you can you know add something called a secret you have to give a name something called a secret uri and uh, give that whole url here paste it here and click on ok click on save so this is how you can do to immediately you know get the newly added value in your configuration but the problem if you are using uh, secret identifier is uh, the url will be different for different versions so if you're adding any new version uh, in any time in future then you'll have to make the changes here as well so otherwise it's better to use the uh, the previous uh, method which i showed so let's refresh and see if the value is uh, resolved or not So the value is resolved. Let's quickly test and see. This is coming up. Whenever some changes happen, this thing gets stopped immediately and we'll have to restart it again. Clear everything. It says connected. Let's click on run. And you'll see learn in a nutshell 2 coming up here now. So that's how you do it. That's how you use uh, Keyvault uh, in your function app configuration um, using uh, the Keyvault secret version as well as uh, by using the secret URI. That's how you read the values from Keyvault secrets. So hope this was useful. Uh, if there's any questions, queries, please uh, post it in the comment section. And uh, please do the like button. It will be really helpful you know, in growing this channel. So yeah, and do subscribe guys. Let's catch again next video. Until then, see you. Bye.